Hello everyone, this is Brother Jim, pastor of the Jackson Branch Bible Church, and my wife, uh, Sister Ruth Smith, and we are here tonight on behalf of WLJC, the Hour of Harvest, just uh, letting you know tonight that uh, Jesus is Lord, and what a, what a wonderful Savior we serve tonight. we just like to encourage you, amen, praise God, to keep uh, watching the, uh, the program each and every night. Uh, there's services, live services here, and operators are always on, on duty to take your call. Just one of the most wonderful things, amen, that could ever happen, amen, is just be a child of God. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We, it's a good uh, rainy night here in the, at, outside the studio, and we trust that uh, whatever the weather is at your house, that you'll be able to watch and enjoy the service join in with us because we're going to spend for the next one hour and a half we're going to spend our time talking about the lord singing about the lord and uh, Dottie has phone operators that, to help her if you should need to call or if you have a praise report that would be fine so the number is always the same so feel free to do it all right, we have, this is uh, the week that we always observe Mother's Day, and uh, we've had a different uh, mother here each evening to uh, share their thoughts on motherhood and, uh, and what, uh, what it means to them. And so tonight uh, we have uh, as our speaker, uh, Valerie Flincham, and uh, then also I'm happy to have my sister Shannon Kincaid back with me tonight, and uh, she's been kind of playing hooky on me and not not getting up here and helping me, but she's she's here tonight. So, uh, so uh, Valerie's going to talk to us about uh, about motherhood, and and uh, Shan, uh, would you like to say a greeting first? Well, I'm glad to be back, and uh, uh, I know that you. Probably some of you will remember when Bill and I would host a program here, but it's been quite a bit time that uh, we've not been able to, and we've both been in bad health, and uh, we've been in the hospital, we have been in rehab, and uh, I, I started walking with a walker, and then I got a cane, and now I'm walking without uh, uh, anything. and. Uh, so I just wanted to say that uh, Bill is under hospice right now, and some days he has good days, and sometimes he has bad ones. And and uh, he he had COPD, and uh, and every time I see anybody smoking, I'm just thinking, if they only followed Bill around one day, and mm -hmm. see how much trouble that it is for him to even breathe, uh, they would quit their smoking. But um, I just am thankful that uh, that uh, we haven't had any broken bones, and and so we mm -hmm. we're doing better. So mm -hmm. that that's all. All right. Well, it's good to have you back. We've uh, able to get up here. Now, did you wear the walker and cane out, or, or are they still in good shape? <laughs> Well, I, I'm saving them when I get older. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, that'll be good. All right, Miss Valerie, tell us what your thoughts on motherhood and what uh, what you have there tonight. When you first asked me about this, I thought, well, what am I going to say? And um, I lost my mother in October. She was almost 88 years old. She had macular degeneration, and I thought, well, this is this is appropriate because I get to celebrate her. Yes. She was a dedicated homemaker, a dedicated mother, dedicated grandmother, great-grandmother, and uh, it just was an honor to get to come here 
um, and I wanted to show first of all how proud she was. My mother was a 59 year cancer survivor. Yes, ma'am. And um, I, I was three years old and she had rededicated her life to the Lord, was baptized, and we never missed church. We knew, the, the little do dog we had knew, when my mother put her good Sunday coat on, he didn't get to go. <laughs> so we were dedicated uh, church members, and these are what we would receive on graduation Sunday once a year when we would leave one Sunday school class and upgrade to another because of age or grouping or whatever. And these are, I had one sister, sadly, she, we lost her in an automobile accident 35 years ago. And my mother has them labeled, which one's mine and which one's hers. And what it was, the first year you had perfect attendance, you got a little round pin that signified your first year. And then a wreath that wrapped around that to hold the bars for each successive year. And there are eight years for both of us, we were only 15 months apart. And I don't know why the eighth year, we didn't get a ninth. I'm not sure, um, but we were in church. And my father wasn't at the time. And um, so when we would leave for church, you know, we'd say, Daddy, go with us. And he'd say, well, maybe next Sunday, girls. And so uh, we had remodeled the bathroom, and back then pink was a big color. And we had a pink, everything was pink in the bathroom, poor Daddy. And so when we get out of the bath at night, my mom would say, now girls, let's say a prayer for your dad. And so we would kneel around that little pink bathtub and my dad got saved. Um, I was 12 years old and I remember it dearly. Um, he was six feet four and I think the pastor that baptized him was about five feet four. So we all wondered just how that was gonna turn out, but it turned out magnificent. So that was uh, the one thing that I wanted to say about my mother and um, like I said, she just passed away in October. And so I talked to everybody and they said uh, that they would like for me to just do something on the back of her tombstone because my dad's wore bronze memorials on the back of his side. So I thought we've got to do something for her side as well. And I thought Proverbs 31 was my mother. And although she didn't fit every single verse, this is what's on the back of her tombstone. Although the weaker vessel Wisdom and grace have made her strong. Pious and industrious, she's her husband's helpmate. Excuse me. His heart trusts her because of her constant love. Self-motivated and diligent, thrifty and not evil, she's truly dedicated to her home. She's an amazing seamstress and artist. Kindness and compassion are her guides kindness and compassion for others are her guides for the future. Her family calls her cherished. Her husband, a leader and businessman, honors her with love. A woman that fears the Lord shall be praised. And I wish I could have that written on my tombstone, um, but I wasn't the mother or wife that she was, and I'm just, I'm just so thankful that I had her. And I thank you for the opportunity for giving me this to honor her this way. And um, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie. That was really neat. Shan, do you have something you'd like to uh, share? Um, well, uh, it is important to be the best we can. We have... Uh, uh, we have... Um, a prayer request already in, and it's someone, uh, Joanna from Pike County is facing her third open heart surgery, and so she wants, needs prayer. But I tell you, uh, uh, Valerie, if you don't care, uh, the other moms have led uh, in prayer for all the mothers. You know, there's all ages, all uh, conditions and everything. Would you lead us in prayer for all the moms tonight? That's uh, not strange, I don't think, that you asked me because I have, I found four Bible verses and I thought I might be running over time. No. But the first Bible verse I found, Sister Margaret, was if you've got a baby, if you've been blessed with a baby, Isaiah 66, 13, as a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. 
If you've got a teenager, oh my goodness, <laughs> those could be trying years. I'm a retired middle school teacher, I know. Proverbs 14, 1, the wise woman builds her house, and that is a house for her children to know the Lord, to let him be in their house. Adult children, um, 1 Peter 4, 8, above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. And I took that as like in-laws. You know, sometimes we call them outlaws, mm -hmm. <laughs> but the, oh this, this is for adult children. <laughs> and then like me, if you've lost your mama, Philippians 1, 3, thank God, I do. I thank God every time I remember you. So yes, these are the four verses for the walks of life that a mother would have yes, if yes. she was blessed to have children. They are a blessing. Well, they have some prayer if you don't care. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Father God, tonight, the first thing we want to thank you for is your son, Jesus, yes. that died on a cross. His mother had to give him up. The minute he was born, she knew what was going to happen, and she was so brave, Lord, and we want to thank you for that privilege that she gave us, her son, and we want to thank you, Lord, for the mothers, whether they're here or their memories. They'll always have a lasting effect on us. And I just thank you, Father, for this um, little tower up on this hill in Batavel. The calls we get are just amazing, such eye-openers, Lord. There's such need in the world, but there's also a lot of love and a lot of grace and a lot of peace. And Father, go with the singers tonight. Be with us upstairs as we answer the phone. And thank you for Brother Don and Sister Margaret and Shannon's dedication to this station. And it's all in your son's name we ask these things, Father. Amen. Amen. All right, thank you so much, Valerie Flincham. So happy to have her. This is her first uh, time to be on the air to talk, so I think she was really calm. <laughs> so, all right, we have been blessed with two groups of singers tonight. We had two mothers up here, and, uh, and then we've got two groups of singers. We have uh, from, uh, well, I can't even see, but anyway, uh, we have two groups of singers. Final Call is going to be the first ones to sing, and then we have the um, the Bobby Jones uh, family from uh, up in Ohio, and so they're going to be singing for us. So stay tuned. They they all love the Lord, and they're here for one reason. They both uh, both groups have already stated their only purpose for being here is to see souls saved, and so that's what we're believing for tonight. So let's welcome Final Call right now. On a hill called Calvary, Jesus my Lord suffered for me, carried the cross all the way, my sins to atone. Great was the pain and the loss, he suffered it all, because he loved me. Because he loved me, my Savior died, on a cross was crucified. No greater love by mortal man has ever been known. Oh, 
suffered it all because he loved me. He suffered it all because he loved me. We're a little bit handicapped tonight. Uh, first time we're coming out without a drummer. So it's kind of different for us, but uh, we're going to do the best that we can do. Um, my mom called me this evening and said I had to wear a pretty shirt and tie, so I'm 52 years old, and uh, Mama still gets her way. <laughs> so I'm going to send this song out, and happy Mother's Day to my mom, Rose Fisher, and her friend listening, uh, Janice Bingham, um, and my sister, Melissa. We meet with loved ones and friends at family reunions. Our plans are to see them again the following year. But sometimes a loved one we've known and cherished so dear won't be there to greet us. And oh, how we'll miss them at our homecoming meeting this year. The next time you see me, I may be wearing my white robe. The next time you see me, maybe on the streets of pure gold. And we'll have forever to talk and to part nevermore. The next time you see me, maybe in our heavenly home. We don't have a promise ever see a tomorrow and the things that we did yesterday are known as the past so live for today and today live for the savior for tomorrow we may be living in our eternal the next time you see me, I may be wearing my white robe. The next time you see me, maybe on the streets of here go. And we'll have forever to talk and to part nevermore. The next time you see me, maybe in our heavenly home. And we'll have forever to talk and to part nevermore. I want to sing this next song for my mother and wish her a happy Mother's Day. Her name is Ima Jean Riley and send it out to my dad. And I'm just, uh, you know, the old devil tried to get us to not come down here tonight. And we just uh, got really aggravated. And, but I've already been blessed by being here. For all the pretty sunsets and each peaceful stream, for every little songbird you sent my way to sing, and in my barren desert where nothing else grows. Lord, thank you for the roses you placed in my life. For the old-fashioned preacher who carries the light. For the peace and contentment in a world so filled with strife. Lord, thank you for the roses you placed in my life. You placed in my life, Lord. For the freshness of the morning and the cool of 
the day for the place in my memory you've washed my sins away for your precious holy spirit that i feel down in my soul that's worth more to me than every other rose than every other rose lord thank you for the roses you placed in my life for the old fashioned preacher who carries the light for the peace and contentment in a world so filled with strife. Lord, thank you for the roses you placed in my life. You placed in my life. Lord, thank you for the This next song is called Come Down to Me, and this is my favorite that we do. I think it's a lot of people's testimony. Well, I know that I'm not worthy to call upon your name. And all my life I've been a sinner, and for that I am ashamed. But I heard that you would listen, so I'm sending you my plea. I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you. Would you please come down? Too unworthy, Lord, to come to you. 
Would you please come down to me? Come down to me. This is a song that... Uh, my mom wanted us to learn, so uh, we learned it, and it's got a great message in it. It's called uh, Reaping from the Fields. Sometimes my life is like a field of fallen grain, poached, dried, and empty, needing a little rain. But then Days past and gone, how I'm reaping from fields, Lord, that I've never sown. I've never had a day, Lord, that I did not eat or a place to lay my head down when it was time to sleep. I know I don't deserve all the blessings. Milk and honey there abode Drinking from the fountain That flows from the living stone Reaping from fields, Lord That I've never sown When I look at my children What a blessing they've been And Lord, you sure bless me with a multitude of friends when I stop and consider a day's past and gone I realize how much I'm reaping from the fields I've never sown I'm reaping from fields Lord that I've never sown reaping from the table milk and honey song out. I don't know if she's watching. It's a girl I work with and her name is Vicki Stanley Walker and I'm going to send this out to her. For making the sun to shine Putting the stars in the sky For the flowers that bloom ocean so blue thank you Lord for every sparrow that sings and makes sweet melody for the rivers that flow the rain and the snow thank you Lord I just want to thank you Lord I just want to
song I don't want to forget my dad he he whooped me when I get home this goes out to my daddy sometimes I try to tell what Jesus means to me and I find myself searching for words to say just what I He's my shelter in the time of trouble. Yes, I look to him for everything. He can be a mother, a father, or a friend. And on him I can always depend. For I know whatever I need, that's just what he is. Well, I'm poor and I'm needy. Yet the Lord. He's my shelter in the time of trouble. Yes, I look to him for everything. He can be a mother, a father, or a friend. And on him I can always depend. For I know whatever I need, that's just what he is. For I know what. This next song seemed like I have a little bit of a hard time with it. Two coats before me, an old and a new. I could have either, so what 
must I do? The old coat is ugly and tattered and torn. The other a new one that's never I laid off the old coat and I put on a new I'll tell you the best thing I hate for do Put on a new. Now the first man was earthly, built from the ground. We all bore his image, the whole world around. The next was my savior in heaven so fair. He gave me this new robe you can now see me wear. I'll tell you the best thing I ever did do. This new coat, it fits me, it keeps me so warm. Yeah. It's good in the winter, it's good in a storm. My Savior has dressed me in garments so rare. He gave all the mothers not just mine out there uh, happy mother's day um, lord's blessed me to still have my mom and she's been through a lot she's had cancer and she's had hard attacks and so there must be a reason why the lord still got her here um i want to send this next song out to uh my aunt Cecilene burton if she's watching and uh i know most of the girls i work with at david steakhouse is probably working but Maybe some of them see it. I'll send this out to, to you all. Searching for answers. You need a way out. You've been trapped in this trial. Full of sorrow and doubt. You saw a flicker of sunlight. But you found no escape Just hold on to his promises He says 
said that he'll make a way. He'll make a way in the middle of nowhere when it seems no one really cares. He is there by your side. He'll make a way when you feel safe and close in. Don't you give up, don't you kill me. also one of my favorite songs and it's a true song I think everybody can relate to this song uh, the next group coming up uh, you're in for a real treat to hear them they are uh, really good we got to hear them warming up a little bit and uh, I'm sure they'll be a blessing as the world looks upon me as I struggle alone Say I have nothing, but they are so wrong. In my heart, I'm rejoicing. How I wish they could see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. There's a room above me I have a good place to sleep there's food on my table and shoes on my feet you gave me your love Lord and a fine family thank you Lord for your blessing Yes, I thank you, Lord, 
for your blessings on me. Thank you all. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, final call from Barberville, Kentucky. They do have CDs. You may call them at 606-622-0242. And they're uh, affiliated with the Locust Grove Baptist Church. Appreciate them coming tonight. And uh, we now have another uh, new group that has never been here before. They're, they're coming up and uh, we'll introduce them. Miss Kavanaugh from uh, Richmond said she really uh, enjoyed the music and she's so glad to see Shannon back. Well, we all are. And uh, here's a mother that's really going to have a Mother's Day treat. Uh, Sue from Johnson County, uh, her 58-year-old son is being baptized on, mm -hmm. on uh, Mother's Day, so she's so happy about that. And also, we've had one salvation report from uh, Fayette County. Wayne has called from Fayette County Salvation, and uh, he uh, is sick with a lot of diseases, but said that WLJC had helped him make the right decision. So. There was a salvation report. And uh, this Joanna from Pike County has already had her third heart, open heart surgery, and they cannot get her off of the breathing machine. So I read that wrong, I guess, a while ago. All right. Uh, I, I want to introduce our next group. And uh, they have some uh, really, really good uh, CDs. and. Uh, I got my dollar store glasses on now so I can see what I'm saying. Uh, this is the Bobby Jones family from Amherst, Ohio, and their phone number is 440-281-8182. And here's uh, one of their CDs. It says, God, uh, wake America one more time. And then they also, they also have another nice... Uh, a nice CD that uh, uh, with pictures on. And see, you get a bonus when you get a good picture when you buy a CD. So that's, you know, and oh yeah, on the back there's a 68 Chevelle. Uh, 68 Chevelle. Chevelle. Okay, it caught Don's attention because there's a car. All right, well, there's some good pictures on here. So now for the very first time, and these folk are going to tell you about where they're going to be singing next week. Uh, the Bobby Jones family from Amherst, Ohio. They, uh, and they will be telling about where they're going to be singing. You can go be with them, shake their hand, and holler amen for them. So let's welcome right now the Bobby uh, Jones family. He turns his collar up to a cold October breeze. Though the fields are wide to harvest, he keeps on planting seed. Hoping for some fertile soil, not for a rocky plain. But he knows within his heart that his labor's not in vain. He's been faithful 60 years with his hand on the plow. Sometimes he gets weary, but he wouldn't turn back now. Greatest crop he's ever seen is being ushered in. The seed he planted was the word, the fruit, the souls of men. He can feel the harvest wind, the master's coming back again. But he won't find you might don't find, cause every day is harvest time. Chosen few, 
I'd like to give him mine for leading me to you. He told me that you love me and you're coming back again. Riding clouds of glory blown upon the harvest wind. He can feel the harvest wind. The master's coming back again. He won't find him by no by Cause every day is harvest time He can feel the harvest wind The master's coming back again But he won't is harvest time. Yes, it's harvest time. Time to win our loved ones to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Rise up, Lazarus. Rise up, Lazarus, rise up from the dust. If in Jesus you believe, you shall be released. Go forth, John and Paul, spread the gospel to them all. Give them courage to believe, and they shall be released. Now Jesus went to Bethany and answered to an urgent plea. Two sisters fell down at his feet and they began to cry and weep. They led him to their brother's grave. Jesus knelt to God and prayed. Rise up, Lazarus, rise up from the dust. In Jesus you believe, he shall be released. Go for John and Paul, spread the gospel to them all. Give them courage to believe and they shall be released. Now doubters who did not believe Spread the word of what they'd seen Then they began to congregate First two to four, then four to eight God watched their faith and multiply As they echoed Jesus Christ Rise up, Lazarus, rise up from the dust If in Jesus you believe, you shall be released Go for John and Paul, spread the gospel to them all Give them courage to believe and they shall be believed Now doubters who did not believe Spread the word of what they'd seen then they began to congregate the you shall rise like Lazarus. So if you're feeling down and out, open up your heart and shout. Rise up, Lazarus, rise up from the dust. If in Jesus you believe, you shall be released. Go for John and Paul, spread the gospel to them all. Give them courage to believe and they shall be released. Give them courage to believe and they shall be believed. If it wasn't for his mercy and grace, where would we be today? This song is a great song. It's called Mercy and Grace. We hope that it will bless your heart. If you're lost today, we hope that you'll find Christ as your Savior. A wretched old sinner, unloving I was, with nothing to pay for the things I had done, rejected and worthless. No hope for my soul. God rich in mercy. 
mercy has made me his own. Mercy and grace, mercy and grace, forgiven, forgotten, all my sin was erased. There are of his mercy and grace so thankful for his mercy and grace in the pit of despair consumed by sin my righteousness was filthy rags before him Mercy and grace were given to me. When I called upon him and in faith I believed. Mercy and grace, mercy and grace. Forgiven, forgotten, all my sin was erased. All my sin was erased There on Mount Calvary He took my place Just ask and I'll tell you Of His mercy and grace Just ask and I'll tell you Of His mercy and grace next song is a, a special song to me, and the, the song tells about Jesus being able to put you back on the potter's wheel and mold you again. You know, we were broken with, uh, with all sorts of health problems, and we thought we was never going to be able to sing gospel music again, and it just broke our hearts, but we prayed for God, and God gave us this song in, in our time and in, in, in our valley that we was going through, and today you may be going through a valley, and if you are, you know, God can put you back on that potter's wheel, and he can mold you and make you anew, and that's what this song is all about, it says, till I am like you. No, I am nothing in the eyes of the world, an old vessel used or an old. But I know a potter with hands he remolds, he fixes old vessels, the clay he restores. Put me on the potter's wheel one more time, my Lord, for I am broken and old. I know you can shape me and make me anew. Spin me again, Lord, till I am like you. A vessel of honor, I know I can be. Glazed with the finish that shines. The potter called Jesus was broken for me. He emptied my basin, filled it with new wine. Put me on the potter's wheel one more time, my Lord, for I am broken and old. I know you can shape me and make me anew. Spin me again, Lord, till I am like you. He can mend broken pieces, the clay he combines. Into unlike him, you see. If you are.
are broken, just ask him today. Mold me and make me with your new clay. Put me on the potter's wheel one more time, my Lord, for I am broken and old. I know you can shape me and make me anew. Spin me again, Lord, till I am like you. Spin me again, Lord, till I am like you. Next song is about autumn, and you know autumn, the leaves are falling. We thank God for this song. It's autumn. Soon the ground will be covered with snow. Now it's time for the harvest. Are you ready to go? All summer you've been working. Plant your crops and watch them grow. Now it's time to yield the harvest. For it comes the first big snow Like you the Lord's been working Trying hard to win your soul Now the grain is ripe to harvest Better get ready to go It's autumn and the leaves are falling Soon the ground will be covered with snow. Now it's time for the harvest. Are you ready to go? If you're not ready today, you can get ready. Amen. All you have to do is call upon the Lord. He'll answer our prayers today. Outside the wind is blowing, scattered leaves to and fro. Summer's gone, winter's coming. Can't you feel the cold wind blow? Like a seed, your life changes. You've had time to save your soul. Now the grain is ripe to harvest. You must reap what you sow. It's autumn and the leaves are falling. Soon the ground will be covered with snow. Now it's time for the harvest. Are you ready to go? We're going to be, uh, this coming week, we're going to be at the, uh, the Gospel uh, Fanfare, and that is in Somerset, Kentucky, and there is a lot of uh, groups of fine artists there. If you would like to come out, it usually starts around 6 o'clock, but they have day event, uh, uh, events as well, so uh, come out and be with us at 6 o'clock from Monday through Friday starting this coming week. <laughs> No world's no place for living Not enough care, not enough giving Sometimes clouds of sin and sorrow hides away But this life of stormy weather Ain't it gonna be my home forever Gonna be moving 
one of these days I'm going to be moving, moving away. I'm going to be moving one of these days. When I leave this world behind me, troubles and cares are never going to find me. I'm going to be moving one of these days. There won't be any time for crying, no more sickness, toil, or dying. Joy awaits me in that mansion far away. I'm going to rest from all of my labor. The Lord's going to be my next door neighbor. Going to be moving one of these days. I'm going to be moving, moving. One of these days, one of these days, when I leave this world behind me, troubles and cares are never gonna find me. I'm gonna be moving one of these days. When I leave this world behind me, troubles and cares are never gonna find me. I'm gonna be moving one of these days. is going out for all the mothers again um, it's called um, mama's bible and you know it was because of mama's bible that I became to know the Lord so this song's very special to me and um, in every in every walk of life she had written down in her bible and she gave it to me before whenever she passed away she had my name written in it and I thought I was saved, and maybe some of you out there are listening in, but you know you need to know for sure, Amen. you know. And uh, the Lord spoke to me through Mama's Bible, so this is a precious song to me for all the mothers out there. Church down by the river where she'd always pray for me and in her hand she held her Bible with her name engraved in gold a gift to her from daddy just before God called him home she'd say life is but a journey that we travel through the years through the mountains and the valleys through the laughter and the tears so take the road that's narrow but if you ever stray just remember mama's bible will help you find your way mama's bible she'd say to me will be your anchor on stormy seas in times of trouble
mama's Bible always be here. There were nights when I'd come home late, find her in her favorite chair, reading from her Bible, talking to the Lord. But a memory, her love will never die. Cause I read in Mama's Bible, someday we'll never say goodbye. Mama's Bible, she'd say to me, We'll be your. called Beside of the Road. I've been traveling for Jesus the most of my life, over hills and the valleys so low. I've been tempted by the trial, the trouble and strife. But someday I'll be home with the Lord. In the shadow of the journey, when friends seem so few, I have prayed for the Lord to be close. I believe I heard him walking in the cool of the day as I sit by the side of the just ahead is the sunset when Jesus will say, No more work in the vineyard for you. He will rock me to sleep in the cradle of time. I will awake in the harbor of love. In the shadow of the journey, seems so few I have prayed for the Lord to be close I believe I heard him walking in the cool of the day as I sit by the side of the Someday I'll cross the river inside the home gates. I may look back to earth here below. I may see a dear brother I've known on the way, sitting down by the side of the road. In the shadow of the journey,
in the great beyond. Looking forward to that place. Death began to form a line to cross the river When Abel died from his own brother's hand Now the stream of mortal souls have swelled old Jordan Passing on there in judgment to stand Great beyond, over in the land of Eden, I'll meet my friends who left this world so long ago. What a hallelujah morning when we gather over there. We will praise our blessed Lord forever. I have stood by a friend while he was dying. The hand of death would leave his form cold and still. Off I wondered what he saw when he was crossing. Who he met at the top of the hill. In the great beyond, over in the land of Eden, I'll meet my friends who left this world so long ago. What a hallelujah morning when we gather over there. We will praise our blessed Lord forevermore. I like this last verse because if it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't be here today. I'm so glad that a way was made at Calvary. When Jesus died, was laid to rest in the tomb. In the grave, he slept a while, then overpowered it. Praise his name that he lives evermore. In the great beyond, over in the land of Eden, I'll meet my friends who left this world so long ago. What a hallelujah morning. Our blessed Lord forevermore. We will praise our blessed Lord forevermore. All right. Uh, thank you, the Bobby Jones family from Amherst, Ohio. They do have CDs. Uh, once again, let me show you. They have a couple with them here, and uh, uh, very nice CDs, good pictures on them. And uh, so in order to purchase those, you'd need to call them at 440-281-8182. Uh, and uh, they're going to be over at uh, Somerset this, uh, this uh, if you'd like to make that announcement one more time, um, about that singing over there, that fanfare. Uh, I don't have the things written down, so if you want to go ahead and do it. Yes, Randall Wiles uh, is and his associates. Uh, they they host this free event over there, and it has a just a a lot of good gospel singing over there, and it's it's over there. They have day events. It starts all the way like 
devotion and everything from in the morning at nine o'clock. But most of the concerts are begin at six o'clock, and it usually runs up to nine, sometimes ten o'clock. Um, but uh, there's a lot of good gospel artists there that everybody knows. And we're going to be singing on Monday and Wednesday night. So we, uh, we, we would love for you to, uh, to come and to be with us. Thank you. All right. And, and so the Sons family and some others that, we, that has been here, they'll be there, I'm sure, also. Sounded like a good time if you had time to go. <laughs> All right, we appreciate Final Call also for Barberville for being here to sing for us tonight. And, um, uh, you know, singings are wonderful when you can go and be, be there, but for the, for the many hundreds of thousands of people that cannot go, then that's where WLJC comes in. We can take the music to them. And so uh, that's what we want to be faithful in doing. Uh, from Somerset, it says a cousin has called, said her husband's cousin um, <clears throat> is singing tonight and glad to see them. It did not say who, which cousin, so whatever. We have one group from Barberville and some up with associates in, in Somerset, so whoever who wants to be a cousin, you can, uh, you can say that was yours. All right, we have a praise report, a really good one here from Evelyn from Pulaski County. Uh, she celebrated four years after her open heart surgery on April the 6th, and she's doing great, and she says thank you to the Lord. All right, from uh, Larry from uh, Clay County for his dad that needs a good report from the doctor. Edith from, S uh, from uh, Fayette County, her daughter is being rushed to the hospital at this, at this hour. Uh, Roy from Clay County, uh, one of his family members uh, has passed away, and he, he wanted a song. Uh, Sevilla from Whitesburg enjoys WLJC in the singing and requests prayer for her family. Uh, okay, this is uh, Joanne, I believe, from uh, Casey County. Her grandchildren needs prayer uh, was... Uh, Okay, I'm not sure what the, what that last is there. A lady from Morgan County, uh, physical needs. A, a sister has called for her family to be saved. Vera Deaton has called for W.R. Palmer, and needs um, kidney a transplant, and uh, desperately uh, uh, for Oregon, I guess that is for organs, and that's Ch uh, Chester Deaton's um, grandson. All right, a serious request. Uh, Stella from Allen, Kentucky, for a daughter that's uh, been in a car, uh, been in a wreck, and her husband, and the uh, 18th having a stress test. This one is for a son that it has diabetes and a pancreatitis, still, um, Cannot get uh, cannot get uh, everything lined up there for his body. Amy from uh, Estel, singers are great. Uh, Anne from Rock Castle needs healing from a stroke and full restoration. Uh, Robert from Breathitt for Linda. Elizabeth from Clark, uh, her uh, brother uh, had a seizure and being rushed to the hospital by ambulance at this time. Uh, Mark from Morgan County having uh, uh, problems and uh, needs a physical healing. Carolyn from Wayne County for her family would, uh, would like to say Happy Mother's Day to uh, Gladys Dennis, 88 years of age. Charles uh, from Barberville, his neighbor Marvin has lung cancer. Glenn from Rock Castle just got out of the hospital and pray for Jerusalem and all and our president Phyllis from Berea physical needs Alfie uh, physical needs and Earl and Goldie and Linda cannot breathe uh, Linda is a very sick lady and uh, we talk to her every day she's very sick and so she needs along with all these others, needs a healing. 
Mamie and Willard Douglas uh, from Whitley County says the Bobby Jones, they knew them back in the uh, uh, 1980s. Okay, they're smiling, I think, so they, they must rec remember you. Uh, Betty from Mount Sterling for her family. Her daughter is dying, cannot uh, go anywhere. Betty needs prayer. She's had a stroke and high blood pressure. Lois from Laurel County, children needs to be saved. Francis from Mount Sterling, happy Mother's Day to Sister Dottie. WLJC is her church. Virginia called last week for prayer about her daughter who had a cyst and now it's gone. Thank the Lord for uh, answering prayer. Julie from Fayette County enjoyed the singing and uh, also has prayer requests for the Lawson family and uh, a nephew's baby. It says the mother is uh, on drugs that's carrying the baby. All right. Uh, Billy, a friend is called in, has fourth stage cancer. So let's pray for all these requests. Father, in Jesus' name, you know each one of these. You know where they are and what their conditions are. So we pray for healing of the soul. First of all, Lord, we know salvation is the most important uh, thing that can happen to us. So we ask for salvation, for physical healing, for emotional healing, and for the restoration of family members and whatever needs to be, Lord, these folk have asked for prayer, so we present them to you. We ask that the needs be met, and we thank you because we know you know about it, and you care, and you can do something about it. So thank you in advance for what you're going to do for each of these. Bless their singers that have been here tonight. Give them safety and a long life in singing for you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, looks like our time is come and gone for another another night so from all of us we want to say good night and god bless you thank you for being a part of the hour of harvest we hope you get a blessing every time you watch this program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com wljc is now available on roku and google tv dvd copies of this program are also available for your contribution of fifteen dollars or more the WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606 464-3600 or write to WLJC P.O. Box Y Beattyville, Kentucky 41311 Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.